Control of the state Supreme Court and other statewide elected offices are also in play this year. WGN's political reporter, Shimon Bradley, joining us now from the newsroom with more on that. Shimon. Micah and Ray, for weeks now, Governor Pritzker has said he's focused not only on his race versus Darren Bailey, he's going for a clean sweep, getting every Democrat for statewide office elected. In addition to picking a governor and U.S. Senator, Illinois voters are being asked to choose executive branch officers. Polls show the Democratic candidates leading in every contest. In Illinois, it's tough to beat incumbent Democrats. Perhaps the most high-profile contest is the race to replace retiring Secretary of State Jesse White. The Republican is State Representative Dan Brady, the Democrat, former State Treasurer Alexi Janulius. Alexi Janulius has a history with this state. He's been Treasurer of this state. But to be honest with you, Dan Brady just has not run a very visible present campaign. In the attorney general race, it's Democrat Kwame Raoul versus the man who led the legal battle against Governor Pritzker's COVID mandates, Tom DeVore. DeVore in many ways is preaching to a choir that's open to the message to the extent people are concerned about crime. DeVore is hammering away at the Safety Act. This bill was crammed through at the last minute. Raul defends the process to pass the legislation and the elimination of cash bail beginning January 1st. I don't believe that cash should be the determining factor as to whether or not uh, somebody is held uh, pre-trial. In the race for treasurer. We've now made over $1.2 billion in interest income for the state of Illinois. Democrat Michael Frerix is facing a challenge from GOP rising star state representative Tom Demmer. We need a state treasurer who's who's independent. Demmer, like the rest of the Republican slate this year, has struggled to gain attention. On the Demmer campaign, he kind of seems to be out there on his own. We don't see a lot of ads from him. And finally, Susana Mendoza, seeking a second full term as comptroller, is facing GOP nominee Shannon Teresi. Mendoza has more than two and a half million dollars in the bank. Teresi, $130,000. Susana Mendoza has put forth in her ads a record that may send a message to the state there's really no reason to fire her right now. We're also not getting a lot of uh, vision of Shannon Teresi so that we can do much of a comparison. In each statewide contest, the Libertarian Party is running a candidate. Our WGN TV Emerson College poll found Mendoza with the biggest lead in any of those races. The closest contest was for Attorney General between Raul and DeVore. And late word this afternoon that Vice President Kamala Harris will be here for Democrats on Sunday. And we expect President Biden will be here in the coming days. That's the latest from the newsroom. Tomorrow Bradley, WGN News.